The failed launch of the Phoenix Pay system has spawned a lively cottage industry devoted to figuring out what went wrong. The priceless question? How a $309 million project designed to save money ended up costing $1 billion. Auditor General Michael Ferguson has weighed in twice, finding blame with the unwillingness of Public Services and Procurement Canada to seek independent advice or listen to concerns. Who else has tried to figure out the Phoenix Pay problem? The Treasury Board? The House of Commons, the Senate, and yes, even this newspaper. If only there had been a warning of some kind, a way of heading off the worst of the decisions made by those running the Phoenix Pay Project. Well, it turns out there was. In the spring of 2003, public services paid for a series of reports. Those reports analyzed in depth a pay and pension project known as the Public Service Compensation System. The plan was to build a fully customized pay and pension system between August 1993 and April 1996. This project was far more ambitious than Phoenix, which is a pay system only and built on existing technology. The early project, taken on by the winning contractor Accenture, fell apart for a variety of reasons that were disputed during seven years of litigation. The post-Accenture project analysis commissioned by Public Services offered dozens of recommendations, lessons learned for the next project. It makes for depressing reading, knowing now what a failure Phoenix would turn out to be. If only the Phoenix pay managers had read this report, their project would have had a much different ending. The assessment, known as an after-action report, was instigated by André Boudreau, the senior bureaucrat in charge of implementing the Accenture pay and pension system. Boudreau says he pushed for the after-action report in order to make sure that nothing like this happened again. I'm blown away by the amount of taxpayers' money being spent on Phoenix. This situation was completely avoidable. There's something wrong here. <laughs>